So we've been weeding a lot in the Lysianthus and the perennials, um, the zinnias, but we haven't actually touched the dahlia rose yet. So we thought we better start. Um, I thought we better start on them this week. Um, they're actually not too bad. This row and a little bit of this row are bad. Um, I think it's because this only this end of the bed got tilled last year and the rest of the bed didn't. Um, I just had put, um, I'd grown buckwheat and um, a fall mix in it. So it never got tilled and it had a couple rounds of cover crop. And I think that really helped. Um, this was tilled. I had a few rows of sunflowers here last year and there's a lot of this annoying um, grass that just doesn't want to come out. Um, it is still quite like quite a few clumps of heavy clay in here. So if the grass is in there or if the grass is along the edge, I have to kind of slice it out. Yeah, so it gives me hope that the more I no-till and cover crop that hopefully I can eliminate some of the annoying weeds. And I also am adding in, I don't know, I th soil likes to have something growing in it. So my thinking is I'd rather control what's growing in the soil here, kind of control what my weeds are. So I, I'm trying this row and I put it on the end row, putting radish and clover because it germinates easily. Um, just to, so I don't have bare soil and have some of the more annoying weeds take off. So there's a lot of little green plants, but it's just radish. And we know that um, from last year's experience, even if radish, we miss it and it gets really big, um, it's really easy to pull. So I'd rather have radish and clover growing where I can easily pull it. And I don't even care if I miss it and it goes to seed because I know next year it would still be an easy weed to pull. That's my thinking this year. I'm just trying it out. Um, if I like it, then I might do that earlier on all my dahlia rows because I for sure usually go through the dahlias once and if it's an easy weed to pull, it would be super quick to whip through all the rows and only have to do one weeding once the dahlias like get this size and I want to eliminate what else is growing in there. Anyways, we'll see. I also mulched one row with grass clippings, which I don't love to mulch dahlias, especially on a year when we get a lot of rain, then the, it's, the water doesn't evaporate as well. It stays moist longer, and then I end up with more rotting dahlias. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I actually think this will go pretty quick, which is cool.
so Bob doesn't teach right now at school. He has the month off. Um, so it's been so nice. He's been around a lot more. Um, he's been doing little improvements in the house and outside here. So he took some time to improve the, the this parking area. It was getting quite muddy and it was uneven and messy over here. So he dug it out and put fresh stone in. And I don't, every time I drive up or walk in out of the barn, it just makes me so happy. I just love little improvements like this. It's so nice. So the, the storm we had this week was a, a big reminder that I need to get my dahlia staked up sooner than later. Um, that was crazy. Uh, surprisingly, probably because it's earlier on in the season, if that had hit in August or September, that would have probably had a lot more damage in my field. There's just a few dahlias that did bend over with it. Um, one row of zinnias that took the brunt of the wind um, fell into the next row. And I think only maybe five or ten sunflowers um, went over so I was thankful because that was crazy wind. We think we lost more tree branches than um, than anything. Yeah this, this job is always a reminder that I haven't lifted weights or worked out since uh, I think I quit in April this year and um, flower farming is yeah I work a lot but if you could see in my videos I 
I work at a turtle pace probably most of the time. It's just slow and steady. Um, and I don't get a lot of upper body strength or even, I don't even move my arms up very often. It's a lot of bending over and crawling. Um, so this reminds me that I, I probably should try and fit that in uh, even during the growing season. Um, Actually, I'm not sore, eight posts is good, but this just reminds me that I should probably try and fit that into my life throughout the growing season as well. But I think right now I'll just try and do eight in the morning, I'll do eight posts at night. And if I leave posts in the pathways when Bob's done his walk uh, in the morning, he will pound some for me too. So I think this will go pretty quick. We have these rows and some rows over there to do. And hopefully we can get them stringed and tied up before the next storm rolls in. Yeah, it was a really good week. Uh, the weather was nice besides the storm. Um, market weather was perfection again and that really brings out the people and we had good sales um, partly because I had a few people having parties so they bought multiple bouquets what some of my flowers went to a wedding um, they actually the bride actually sent the dad to grab the bouquets so well, not her bridal bouquet just for the bridesmaids um, and I think something for the mom and then there was a uh, one of my regulars, a cute, cute couple that bought a bunch of bouquets this week for a celebration that they were having this weekend. And, and then there were some other multi-purchases um, and that really helped sales. Um, but I still had enough to make it through the night. Uh, um, so I didn't run out, um, but sales were great. So that was good. And I have to say the only animals that escaped this week were the two chickens. Um, I had left a gap in the, the fencing. It was my bad. Um, so they just squeezed themselves through. So I fixed that. They didn't get out anymore. Um, so that was good, but yeah, we got lots done. I'm going to get back to weeding today and, and uh, see if we can stay on top of it. With all the rain, it really makes the weeds grow fast and germinate. So yeah, thanks again for hanging out with me and hope to see you again next time. Another night and I'm just walking city lights and people talking. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I wonder if you got that feeling Staring at your bedroom ceiling I think about me the way I think about